All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the zero or the roots, the solutions, the zeros, the x-intercepts of a quadratic um, function. So if I give you a quadratic function of x squared plus 3 equals 0. Now, the main important thing for you guys to remember quadratic, it's in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. All right, it always has to be in that format for us to be able to solve what our x values are. And remember, this is our quadratic term, so a is always the coefficient of your quadratic term, or, or sorry, your um, term with, your, with the, or the exponent of 2. Here is your um, <coughs> linear term, because it's just the x has an exponent of 1. And here is your constant term. Now here, well, if you notice, says a is 1, b is 0, and I have a constant term. Well, guys, this is a very simple one. I don't need to do any factoring or quadratic formula or anything like that. I can simply just solve for x. So all you need to know is just a few skills. And so you, therefore you get x squared minus 3. And now the next step is to take the square root, get rid of the x squared. The x squared cancels out. So I get x equals, now remember, negative 3 can be broken down to negative 1 times 3. And then <coughs> what we previously have learned is, remember the square root of negative 1 is high. So remember, you have, whenever you're taking the square root of the number, it can be your plus or minus. So therefore, x equals plus or minus um, i times the square root of 3. All right? I don't so, get it. Mm. What don't you get? Why do you cross that about 2? Same thing as square root of 2 squared. 2 squared is what? So what happens, the square root and squaring, those are opposite things. It's the same like plus 2 and minus 2. Those cancel each other out. That's why you're just left with two. Okay? Those are opposite <coughs> operations. Alright? No? Where the four come from? The four's not even in the problem. I understand that. I'm trying to show you how when you take when you have a square, you take the square root of it to get rid of the square. That's how you get it. Alright? So that's how you find the root solutions, x intercepts, quadrat of a quadratic function.